If you're a space buff, then you absolutely can't miss this episode of App Judgment. App Judgment is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome to App Judgment, I'm David Prager, and today we're going to go to space because NASA's released their first ever app for the iPhone. I love space, the app is free, so I just had to check it out. Now NASA is all about exploration, science, experiments, but they also put an incredible amount of effort into educating and making information available to the public. The NASA iPhone app is another way of making mission information accessible, but this time to your iPhone. Inside of the app, you'll see menu items on the top nav bar corresponding with missions, images, videos, and updates. If you select videos, you can select and play NASA uploaded YouTube videos from within the app, like this recent one of Ares 1X. By selecting filter on the top right, you can pick and choose your favorite video feeds. In the photos section, it's organized into two main categories, NASA image of the day and astronomy picture of the day. You can get detailed captions for any photo you select from the database, like this one from the Mars Exploration Rover Spirit, taken on its 2,050 second day spent on Mars, which is pretty incredible. The update section of the app is the place where you can access all of NASA's various Twitter feeds. The filter option here lets you select the topics you're most interested in hearing about. Each section of the entire app includes a search function where you can try to find particular videos, images, and missions. Now the highlight of NASA's app is sorting through missions. Here you can scroll through nearly 50 active NASA missions. When you select a mission, you can read an updated summary about it in the middle box, the amount of time that has passed since the mission began, or a countdown timer of when a mission is scheduled to begin, such as a shuttle launch. Across the top nav bar are buttons for video, images, and updates associated with the mission. Updates within missions correspond with the same Twitter feeds I mentioned earlier, but filtered into only tweets from or about a particular mission. When you select photos or videos from within a mission, you'll be able to quickly browse and access the photos and videos tagged to be associated with the mission. Now the most impressive feature for satellites orbiting the planet Earth, like say the International Space Station, is that you can actually track where it currently is from a latitude and longitude perspective. All right, before the final judgment, let's give a shout out to our sponsors. App Judgment is brought to you by Squarespace. You want to start a blog, right? Well, check out these blogs from Revision 3 Peeps, Brian Brushwood, Jeff Kanata, the crew from Film Riot. All of them are from Squarespace. And you could get a snazzy blog like theirs, and guess what? You can even update it on the go with their new iPhone app. Imagine posting content, entries, and photos all with your iPhone. And check out the live site preview. I like that you hit preview and you don't have to leave the app. Plus, check out the Statistics tab, making it the only iPhone application on any major publishing platform that contains an iPhone native statistics interface. Now, I just started using the app on my phone, and I can tell you it's pretty slick, people. And guess what? It's free in the App Store. Check out Squarespace today for free. When you sign up for the trial membership, type in the code APPJUDGMENT and you'll get 10% off the life of your order. Now, if you've ever wanted a smooth looking blog, check out Squarespace today. Now, back to Prager and his judgment on the NASA app. Okay, on to the pros and cons. One, it's a very attractive application that's easy to navigate, information from various NASA sources is well organized, and it gives you a solid overview of NASA's major missions and their objectives. On to the cons, the app doesn't include the ability to stream live NASA TV. That should be a no-brainer. The image resolutions could be a bit better, and the search function seems limited in the kind of results you can find, most likely because there's only so much material accessible only through the app. If I'm really looking for my space fix, NASA has some of the best and most well-organized web pages of any government agency, and I'd rather spend my time there. That said, the new media team at the NASA Ames Research Center has done a fine job with NASA's first ever iPhone app. You can learn all about all of NASA's missions with timely updates and associated links. It's free, and no space-loving iPhone owner should be without it. Definitely a download. I'm David Prager, and if you have another app you'd like us to review, send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also find all the ways to subscribe to App Judgment and never miss an episode. Don't forget our Facebook page at facebook.com appjudgment, and find us on Twitter under the account at appjudgment. Thanks for watching.